Hi, my name is Dr. Samuel, and this is my inspirational video, a way to contribute to your growth in faith in Jesus. I hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Pastor Samuel and I come away to describe something very, very important in our lives. But unfortunately, only few people are practicing it. The reason why I know that only few people are practicing it is because many of us are in bondage. But if you are practicing what I'm about to share with you, every bondage in your life is broken. Dr. Miles Moreau described prayer as an earthly license for heavenly interference. Why don't you ponder over this word as I continue? It is so, so important to know that the Holy Spirit is so gentle, even though He is all-knowing, all-powerful, significant, sovereign. He will not impose His will on you or make decisions for you if you don't allow Him through prayer. The only way you can allow Him to have access and to interfere in your decision making is when you pray and allow him in your prayer. In fact, prayer is to spiritual life what oxygen is to the human body. That is why I believe that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said, Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Luke chapter 18 verse 1. Do you feel like fainting? Is the curse of this world trying to push you down? Remember to pray. Even though the system of this world is crafted and designed in such a way that no man can successfully make any significant impact in the life of people without God's intervention. Remember that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ triumphant over the system of this world and emerged victoriously in his earthly ministry. His life is a classical example for you and I that if somebody has been able to triumphant over the system of this world and has broken through, you and I can also do the same. We can only do that when we are willing to pay the price on waiting on God through prayer. E.M. Bounds declare, without prayer, man cannot, and without prayer, God will not. Can I leave this Bible verse with you? Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus, as we ask, I pray that the Holy Spirit will cause us to receive because it is written in your word. Ask and it shall be given. Lord, I pray that as we seek for the truth and what will truly transform our life, we will find. As we knock on the doors of opportunities, on the doors of revelation, these doors shall be opened unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, as we watch this broadcast, whatever that man cannot do for you, may God meet you at the point of your knees. And shall it be done for you? May it be done for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. Amen. Shall we share the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy 
is following us all the days of our lives. And we are dwelling in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And now receive the blessing. And our family, and the children, and your children, and the children, may His favor be upon you, and a thousand generations. And 